in perfect. Now let me see. My instinct is said that you will grab something, put it here, come back here. Okay, it's too small. She steps in and just goes, it's the theater, honey. Don't be so self-conscious. He was very encouraging within limits of us feeding into it details. I think what I do is I pull the shirt, you're gonna hang? You know what I mean? Okay. You know, you know, I mean, All right. Can be that, or even first the yeah. like, like yeah. pass, maybe half, yeah, half maybe ass. Then are half. you gonna be there? Yes. Yeah. And then they have us, okay, pass. Okay. 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 Yeah. Come down. Larry, help me. Everything is so technical, but you also need to be so present and alive because every moment that's on camera is staying on camera. It was one, two books, Three skirt, probably, and then the arm. You're finished. The idea is never complete. He might direct you in a certain way and then completely turn it around. Oh, okay. I was supposed to go here. No, no, don't worry. I think it was working perfect. What you did was great. It's, just... it's a live animal. The screenplay never is finished, never. So you are changing all the time. But basically, it was very faithful to the main idea. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Let's see what we can learn from this one, and then. Your ass is great, dude. Seriously? Alejandro's design is this one-take approach where you're led on this journey from the first scene all the way through to the end. It's the theater, sweetheart. Don't be so self-conscious. Usually, in a film shoot, you get coverage from different angles. Five takes here. You get twelve takes here. You get close-ups. You get longitude. You have a lot of choices to stitch together a performance. I love you, bitch. You get to repeat lines. If you didn't like that line, you just say it again. You have a lot of freedom to save yourself or improve yourself. If something's not quite right, you can hide those things in editing. You can pick your moments where the actors really have to be, you know, at 100%, and you can make adjustments. You can also come back and reshoot it if you really need to. There is none of that here. You have no safety net. And it all had to come together, and every actor had to be right on it. Get that smile off your face. You're freaking me out. Okay, sorry. Everybody waits for their section. <gasps> Is it true? Yeah. And then we all jump out at the right moment. We're hiding behind doors and walls. Right now. Hey, guys. I'm going to Starbucks. You want anything? I'm good. I'm good. She has a great ass. Come out and have our part of the scene, and then we have to fuck off and make sure that we don't get caught by the camera again. And sometimes the camera comes back around, and you're standing in the wrong stairwell, and it's like... <laughs> you're fucking so fucking annoying! Shut up! Hey, what's up? Continuous scenes, 10, 15 pages of dialogue, several actors, room to room, so you cannot mess up. I can't do the same, Richard. Not just the actor, by the way. There's so many people literally standing on the cliff edge. Martin Scorsese is casting his new film. You don't want to let anyone down because they could be doing their best work. Is it true, Scorsese? Yeah, and the new Pope, too. You're an asshole, Jake. I'm the one keeping this afloat. If you messed up your line, you just want to shoot yourself in the head. It's a nervous wreck because uh, one single mistake can really ruin a work of long, 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 long takes. And action. You deserve to be loved, Eddie. You do. Possibly the hardest thing I've ever done. Each of the cast did the most amazing job and supported Alejandro on his vision all the way through. And Alejandro knew exactly what he wanted to do and how he wanted it to flow. Maybe a little slower. It's like being on a tightrope without the net. Let's do one more. Yeah. I think it was very good. Every day was one. Scene. The level of difficulty for not only the actors, but everyone involved, lighting, the props, everything has to hit its cue. Alejandro was exhausted. He said it to me so many times in New York. He's like, I have to think of everything now because I know any other time I could fix it in the editing room. I could fix it later, but this time I know I have to get it right. And not to mention we have Chivo, an Academy Award winning cinematographer, and he may be pickier than Alejandro, really. And so the two of them are. I like that word. So the actors, not just me, but all the actors, are petrified constantly. <laughs> I've worked with a lot of really good actors. I've worked in really good ensembles. This is as good as they get, I think. Everyone every day just showed up. I used to tell diarrhea jokes in coffee houses, so I don't know if they really necessarily fit in the mold of all these really good actors. I don't have a lot of confidence with that kind of stuff. My eyes started twitching one day. It's intimidating, isn't it?
It was the scene between Michael and Edward. You don't try to kill people. How do you know the lines? They were up on stage with this huge scene between them, and I just come in. What do you think? Everybody's back. Larry needs to see him for a fitting. And so I take him and go around a corner, and that's all I had to do. Your ass is great. OK, let's go again. Alejandro's like, you have to go 30% slower. We can't cut this together. I'm like, oh my god. And, and by take 25, I'm sitting backstage like, John Lesher and I were the therapists. <laughs> we would take turns. Zach and I were joking about it. It's like, literally, can you please pass the bucket? I'm going to vomit after each take. I love that even Naomi Watts was kind of like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, because I was thinking the same thing. It was so difficult, I can't tell you, on so many levels. But also, 